Well, she joins us each week, but Casey Schwartz needs no introduction. <laughs> she, she's a founder of all things Mama and a regular contributor to Marketplace. Hey, girls, good to see you. Hello, <laughs> happy Friday. So festive here. We're it obviously is. doing a centerpiece. So we are. So what do we have? Okay, what we have here is I love to take things from around the house and around the yard and create affordable tablescapes and even just for decor in my home. So as a mom and you know, I don't have a lot of money just to go out and spend on everything that you can imagine. <laughs> I know, I wish, but so I just try to take things that I have. So just coming off of Halloween, so we've had some pumpkins, but what I did was I just took some things that are really um, natural and uh, just a, a really nice color palette for our Thanksgiving table. So right here is I used a burlap, um, what? I just can't table think of runner? it. Yeah, table, table runner. runner. Okay. <laughs> I can't think of the name. A table right. runner. You know, you can use burlap for all kinds of things. I have a burlap wreath, wreath on my door. So oh, it's, it's really cute. pretty. Yeah, yeah, it is cute. So I used that. And actually, you can just get this at Target. It was $4. Oh. So you can't beat wow. that. Yeah. Right. Jeez. So these little chargers, that's what's underneath these plates. Okay. And so I added these in. And those were $2 at Hobby Lobby. Oh. So, you know, by the time you get them on your table and add in some little pumpkins and little name tags here. I put each of my family members and you just tie them on there, sit them in the center. Okay. It's a great way to just really um, personalize your place settings. So what are some of your favorite materials in making a centerpiece? Because I know this isn't mm -hmm. the first time you've done something like this. <laughs> well, I like to use like all natural things. So right here is what I have is I just took our pumpkin that we had and, you know, set it in the center of a tray. I have trays on my table year round and then I just change out the decor mm. for whatever's going on. So I also, when I'm at home and we're just like everyday eating, mm -hmm. it's like I'll put our salt and pepper here and also our napkins sure. and then something in the center yeah. or maybe the kids' artwork from school or something they've made. So it's a great way to really just keep on your table year round. So how much does our existing decor in our home or you know a kitchen or whatever, how does that factor in when we're doing a centerpiece like this? Well, I like to kind of match my home a little bit. <laughs> If you can that. imagine I that. that. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I just really do what I like. Mm -hmm. I think there are no rules when it comes to decor in your home. As long as it's something that you love, I think it's great. No rules. Yeah, like I that. don't think so. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a centerpiece very easily. So okay. you take your tray and you take your pumpkin. And then what I do is I start with these little mini gourds. These are actually gourds, even though they look like pumpkins. pumpkins yeah. yeah. And so then I'll just put these and you can help me and okay. we just, just start filling in. You're you know, just kind of, I don't know, just, wherever you want. Okay. Can we, is, and this is something that we can get the kids involved in yeah. too, right? Yeah, right. Because it's so easy. Yeah, sit that there in the front. I okay. like that. Okay. You got so, it? So I'm even messing, okay. I'm even messing it's up. It's all right. <laughs> it's okay. So then I took, these are pine cones from my neighbor's yard. And kids would love to go <laughs> yeah. outside and pick those, They right? do. And then I take these and I fill in just okay. all around here. Okay. You know, no, and you know, something else I like to do is you can even take them and put them over top of the pumpkin. Make sure there's no little critters in these. Yeah, no, right? really. <laughs> <laughs> we do not want that on I the table know. in our pine cones. Right. You just fill in, and you know, you could use whatever you have on hand. So if it's pine cones, or you can buy pine cones like at Hobby Lobby okay. or Target. You this could is use, easier and it's free. Yeah, I think so. You it's can free. put them here on your place settings. See how pretty? Let me put that one here. Yeah. We want to make sure they match. And then, real quickly, how yeah. long will this last in our home? Well, this would last forever, okay. <laughs> probably as long as your pumpkins would. I would say you could leave it up all through November into December when you change it out for Christmas. Looks good. Looks good. Yeah. Casey, as always, thank you so much for thank being here. Thank you for here. having me. <laughs> and happy Thanksgiving, by the way. Oh, yes. Thank you. To follow Casey, visit her website at allthingsmama.com.